I said they were the best off I've ever played on in China, but um, you know, playing in the semi-final and the final, um, I think definitely the best ever, and I think uh, a lot of that has to do with the, the venue that was, that was built here uh, for snooker. So, um, you know, hopefully um, uh, people know what to do now to, to get the conditions right out here, and um, the, the players will, will, will enjoy enjoy coming here a lot more, even more so than what they do now. And um, yeah, so you know, um, obviously commiserations to John Higgins. He's um, yeah, a, a hero of mine growing up. He was one of my favourite players, and um, you know, to, to play him in a final is, is, is an honour, and um, you know, to beat him is, is, is really is a dream come true because um, you know I've got so much respect for him. He's, he's one of the all-time greats. Um, you know, he's probably had a him and Ronnie really. Whoever ends up with more world titles at the end of their careers will, will probably be. The greatest player of all time. So um, you know, to beat John in the final and you know, play the way I did from, from start to finish, um, especially from five two down, um, you know, I'm very very proud of this moment and um, one I'll always remember. Yeah, I mean to to go back to Australia to play in the Australian Open um, as, as world number one it was it was a goal of mine. Um, uh, sort of towards the end of the World Championship, I, I really wanted to be number one um, going going back home. Um, and, and now to, to go there as well, number one, and winning the, f the first major tournament of the season is um, you know, it's, it's the icing on the cake, really. And um, it'll be great um, publicity for the tournament uh, leading up to it as well.